Hi everybody, Ace of Hearts Fox here, and welcome to another Fursuit Friday video. You know, hindsight is a funny thing, especially when all the signs point to... Oh my god, when I was a kid I was such a furry! So today I'm taking a look at some of the things that totally made me a furry. First things first on our list today, Disney movies! I have met only a small number of furries that didn't love Disney animation in some way, shape, or form. And can you blame them? The music is amazing, the characters are awesome, the animation is gorgeous, I love the characters. There's a lot of complex storytelling that's accessible to people in all age ranges. And did I mention anything about the characters? But anyway, something from Disney always continues to stick out in my mind. Robin Hood! Robin Hood was actually one of the first fictional characters that I can really remember looking up to. He was clever, sophisticated, and always knew what to say. I was a really shy and quiet kid growing up, so I think I gravitated towards Robin Hood because of the character's confidence and charisma. Not to mention there was a time in my adolescence where I kinda just wanted to watch cartoons and nothing but had human characters. I think my logic at the time was, I can see people in real life, why would I want to watch that when cartoons exist? Which brings me to my second item for today, Saturday Morning Cartoons. Some of my favorites off the top of my head being Darkwing Duck, DuckTales, Bonkers, Road Rovers, and Animaniacs. Even though all of these shows vary heavily in tone, quality, and overall style, they did give me a common love and appreciation for the worlds that they built. Whether they built an entire world in their own universe, or borrowed elements from real life, I really appreciated all the different kinds of creative approaches that it takes to make those universes exist. I think that's honestly why I love hearing about how everyone came up with their personas. It's just always really fun to hear about how everyone has their own stories and their own connections to all their different creative work. And now, the third thing that totally made me a furry, cosplay! Now if you spend enough time around cosplayers and costume designers, you're bound to run into someone who makes fursuits or has attempted to make a fursuit at some point, even if you don't realize it. So after I made my first few cosplay projects and managed to make one that looked half decent, I realized how ridiculously difficult costume design really is. And that was just making something for myself. Forget having to custom make something for another person. Fast forward to joining the furry fandom, and my mind was blown when I saw fursuits for the first time. Like, when you really think about it, fursuit making is an incredibly difficult multimedia art form. It requires a multitude of skills, including but not limited to sculpting, sewing, painting, drawing, molding and casting, and even wiring of small electronics sometimes. Also funny enough, I actually discovered cosplay through the next item on today's list. Anime! That's right, being a fan of anime definitely expedited the process of becoming a furry. For one thing, it wasn't until I started watching anime that I was first exposed to fandom culture. It was the first time that I was really able to talk to people online about something widespread that I was actually into. Being part of the anime community also eventually brought me to my first convention. It was Anime Expo 2007, and the very first thing that I bought at my very first convention? A tail! Yeah. Yeah, that explains a lot. And last but not least, the final thing that totally made me a furry is... YouTube. I know that kind of sounds like the setup for a joke, but honestly, YouTube made me a huge furry. Even before there were tons of furry YouTubers making content on a regular basis. Not only did YouTube expose me to fursuiters before I ever saw one in real life, but it also gave me a means to express myself within the fandom. I mean, sure, I play music and stuff, but it's difficult to make a non-visual art relate specifically to furries. Unless you like Fox Amore or Pepper Coyote and you can somehow manage to write tons of music about furries and conventions and make it consistently good. But if you're like me and you're a furry that can't draw, well, you probably understand what I'm getting at. Without a direct ability to create visual work, it was pretty hard to express myself through my persona. After I got my first fursuit, however, I was able to make silly videos with my friends and share them all with you guys. I went from a kid who watched Robin Hood way too many times on VHS to being a furry as a profession. 
Man, hindsight is weird. So thank you all so much for watching this week's Fursy Friday video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Is there anything that you can look back on where you think to yourself, oh yeah, that definitely made me a furry? If so, I'd love to hear about it in the comments down below. Also, if you guys really enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe down below for new videos every week. And if you'd like to directly support the content that I make on this channel, my merch store and Patreon links are in the description box down below. And speaking of patrons, I want to thank these amazing Patreon supporters for producing today's video. And I want to thank these lovely patrons for sponsoring today's video. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks again for watching, everybody. My name's Ace of Hearts Fox, and I will see you all in the next video.